Okay, uh, Ted, uh, everybody's, every, I'm sure you've all heard about TED Talks. Um, TED Talks are, are kind of the premier kind of public speaking forum. Everybody important has done a TED Talk. I have not, maybe that tells you a little bit. But anyway, uh, uh, TED Talks are, are an amazing, uh, amazing place to kind of catapult your career. You get exposed to millions of people. You get to take your message, uh, a condensed. It, all talks, I think, are, I can't remember how long they have to be, 17 minutes or something like that. Uh, they're all in a particular format. They're all approved in advance. And um, uh, they are, uh, they're well promoted, and people watch the videos all over the place. Anyway, uh, Coleman Hughes. Uh, Coleman Hughes is a black conservative young guy who works at, or at least, I think still works for the Manhattan Institute. Uh, super articulate, super smart. He's a conservative, so I, I don't agree with him on everything. But he's he's a very reasonable guy and 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 uh, and quite um, again very articulate uh, and advocates on the issues of race for basically for color blindness. Well, um, last April uh, or this uh, this last April, he gave a talk at. TED at a TED conference in Vancouver. This is the big TED conference. And he was excited, obviously, because this was a way to, again, catapult his career, which is already going fantastic, but, but has the potential to, for, for even bigger and greater things. Um, and uh, he's actually got a book coming out on the topic of the talk, which is basically colorblindness. He's talking about colorblindness. And, uh, you know, he, uh, so he gave this talk in uh, April in, at at uh, the TED conference. Uh, the, the, the talk had to be, uh, I, I, by the way, this is uh, from an article that he published today on Free Press, um, Barry Weiss's publication. So this is uh, from Coleman Hughes's publication. So uh, this is from Coleman Hughes's perspective. I, I have not gone out and, and, and talked to TED about what their perspective on this is. Anyway, he gave a talk. Uh, well, the talk was approved in advance. Uh, every aspect of it, the slides, uh, he practiced it, uh, they reviewed the practice, everything was approved. He gave the talk. Uh, clearly, some people in the audience weren't happy with the talk. They frowned, but generally, the audience was very pleased. They, uh, they cheered it. There was a few people stood up, uh, and it was, it was generally well-received when given. Uh, in the closing session of TED, right at the end, where they kind of asked the audience, what did you think of the conference? The first two people standing up were people who said that they found the talk to be racist, dangerous and irresponsible, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, willing to, and uh, quoting from one of the comments, willing to have us slide back into the days of separate but equal. Okay, so, uh, and, and at the same time, uh, he received a, uh, a, an email from the, um, from, from the head of TED telling him that there was an employee group that's called Black at TED. That should tell you everything you need to know about this employee group. Black at TED. Uh, and they were upset by the talk. They were very upset by the talk. Well, of course. I mean, he's calling for colorblindness, and they're proudly announcing that they're black at TED. Uh, so he had some conversations with uh, the head of TED, and uh, they agreed that Coleman would meet with the black at TED employee resource group and have a discussion about their concerns. Well, he agreed. They did not. Conversation never happened. Later on, two weeks later, the CEO emailed him and said there was blowback about his talk, and that people, that people, while Ted, uh, you know, likes uh, viewpoint diversity and all the standard stuff that they have to say, the progressives have to say, uh, people were really, uh, really upset by the talk, and there was a lot of internal uh, angst, and that the social scientists had written them that there were real flaws in the talk, and this went again, some journal article that was published. Of course, Coleman read the journal article. Journal article is much more supportive of a colorblind society than of anything else. So he wrote back to Anderson, you know, and this back and forth and going on. Anyway, you know, again, Ted basically 
wanted to withdraw this talk. Coleman stood his ground, wouldn't let them. They then said, okay, we'll release the talk, but we'll release it together with a debate that you do to present the other side. And like Cuomo was going, why is my TED diff talk different than everybody else's talks? Why do I have to have a asterisk which, which says a debate? What well, I, I said nothing wrong. So they went back and they, they went back and forth. Ultimately, the uh, uh, compromise was that they would release the TED Talk on video on the channel. And then two weeks later, release a debate that Coleman had with some New York Times uh, correspondent or something. And Coleman agreed to that and they released that. But then it turns out that even though they had promised to treat the talk just like they treat any other talk, it was not being promoted or at least it seems like it was not being promoted. And the, the outcome was that Coleman's talk, which you would think would get a huge number of views because it's controversial, it's about an interesting, it's a, a current cultural topic, it's about something people talk about, has almost no views, or not almost no views. It has about, uh, you know, a, a, a fifth of the, of, the, of the amount of views that other talks presented at the same conference, released at the same time as his did. In other words, today for the progressive movement, to be colorblind is to be racist. To be colorblind is to be silent. To be colorblind is to be ignored. I mean, Martin Luther King could not deliver his colorblind, famous colorblind speech. Martin Luther King would be shunned by today's progressives. It's, it's pretty disgusting. It's pretty offensive. All I can say is in support of Coleman, and, and, more, and, and not just in support of Coleman, but in addition, in, uh, in, in opposition to Ted and in a slap to Ted, this is what I'd like you guys to do. What I'd like you guys to do is go and find on Ted's YouTube channel, I'd like you to find Ted Video's YouTube channel, I'd like you to find Coleman Hughes's video. I'd like you to watch it I think you'll be entertained and getting value out of it anyway. And then I'd like you to share it as extensively as you can. Let's get those views up. I mean, I'm sure they're up already because of the free press article that he put out, but let's, let's do our little bit, our small community. Uh, let's do our little bit to help get Coleman's videos more, uh, more views, right? So go out there. Uh, and, uh, and watch the video and promote it and share it. And, um, you know, assuming you like it. I mean, if you watch the video and you go, oh, this is awful. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Then don't share it. That's why I say watch it first. But I'm assuming it's going to be good or at least reasonable uh, or, or at least not offensive. If it is, if it's good, share it, right? Share it and get the word out there.